Welcome. In this video, we're going to be working with some, well, destructive methods to adjust our white balance as well. Now, we want to uh, keep in mind that we want to keep copies of a layer whenever working with a destructive situation. So, make sure you are on the ball when we're doing this. I am going to start by opening up the image from Mini Bridge. The Mini Bridge is right here next to the bridge icon. And the Mini Bridge can show you all your files as well straight from within Photoshop. I'm going to go ahead and click the Browse Files icon. And you'll see that there are those same little sections. And, and if you created a quick shortcut to your resources folder, it's going to be right there. You can go to your documents. Resources is the one I have. And I'm going to scroll down and find the snow tree image. And I'm just going to drag that over. Bam. I've got it open. I want to incidentally show you that the mini bridge can be removed and docked in different places. If I pull it down to the bottom, it can be docked at the bottom of the page. You see how that ends up bringing in the pictures. You can adjust the size of pictures and whatnot and uh, just how thick that is as well. I'm going to go ahead and reset my workspace just to show you that. So, like I said, I'm going to be working with a destructive method. I definitely want to keep a copy of my background layer. So I'm going to drag the background layer to the new layer icon to create a copy. I'm going to double click it and call it uh, Dodge Burn Sponge. That's because we are going to learn about the Dodge Burn and Sponge tools. Now, Dodge Burn and Sponge tools are located in the, about the middle of the toolbar, and it looks like a black lollipop or a black magnifying glass. Now, uh, this particular tool, the Dodge tool, has a uh, history. And originally in photography, they would uh, be in the dark room, and you got to think everything works backwards. And when they're developing their film, they had this little, I don't know, think of a cardboard lollipop uh, that they would basically hover uh, over and cause the light to change or diminish in an area, thus making the negative darker, which it ends up brightening the area. So dodging, even though it's a black lollipop, actually brightens. I want you to remember, dodge brightens, Okay. And it adjusts the luminance values of an area. Now, it's got some features to it. Let's go ahead and say it acts like a brush. So it's got brushes. You can change which brush you're working on. I'm going to go ahead and choose the uh, fifth one over here. And I'm going to make it um, uh, it's, uh, maybe a little bigger than that. I'm going to go about, about 100. If you're not exactly 100, it's not a big deal. Now, these tools, these three tools, all three of them, the Dodge, Burn, and Sponge, they all work in a particular range of values, meaning it will not affect anything but middle values in this case, if it's on midtones. If it's on shadows, it'll only brighten up the darkest things, and the light things, it won't touch. And then highlights, okay, um, it would not do anything to, example, for example, the tree. All right, so let me show you how this works. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to go to my magnifying glass and zoom in. You could also use the little dial um, strip on your tablet. And anyway, I'm going to go back to my tool, and I'm going to try and see if I can work on the highlights and brighten up the tree. And it's just not doing anything because the tree is not a highlight. Simple, okay? If I changed it to shadows and I drew it will brighten up that aspect. So um, I'm gonna I'm gonna step backward a few steps. I'm just gonna go edit, step backward, Alt Control Z. I'm gonna actually do that on my keyboard a few times just to bring that back to where it was. Okay, so now that I'm working here, what I want to do is I want to brighten up my snow, okay, to make my image a little better. So I'm gonna go to my shadows here and I'm gonna change it to highlights. And the exposure is basically how quickly it is changing, okay? If you have a very low percentage, it's going to affect it very slowly, okay? If you have a very high percentage, it's going to affect it very quickly. Let me show you. If I put it at 98, see how bright that is very quickly? I'm going to Alt-Control-Z and step backward. All right? And if I put it on a low number, it's going to slowly. I'm having to do several strokes to get it to be brighter. 
Now what I want to do is I basically want to brighten up parts of the snow on the road. This picture was taken in Kansas in the winter and out on the farm and it's very very um, I don't know dull when you you know because all the foliage is off the trees the crops are gone right so you can see how this can brighten up that aspect and you see how it's going right through these little lines of the uh, foliage here that's looking like little sticks okay now one of the things that you might notice is that it's becoming really blue as it's dodging okay it's becoming really blue as it's dodging if you don't like that um, and I'm actually not a fan. I'm going to increase this and get some more over here. But you see how it's becoming so blue. I'm going to change that to where it doesn't it doesn't um, make it so blue. And that brings me to the next tool over. The burn, uh, no, the sponge tool. It's two tools down. The sponge tool. And what it does is it takes away color or adds color. Uh, in this case, it would be working with the colors that are there. This is like a bluish color, so it's going to be uh, taking away blue or adding blue. So it's got two different modes. It's got a brush as well. Two different modes. Uh, it's got desaturate and saturate. Desaturate means to take color away. Saturate means to increase the color. So uh, let's just try saturate for a minute here, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to bring my brush up a lot and show you how that makes it really blue. I'm going to undo that because I do not want that to be there. I'm going to change it to desaturate and you'll see how I can take away the color and then it's still bright but it's no longer a blue bright. You see. Okay, that takes away some of that color. Um, basically what I want you to do in this picture is work on the snow making it a little brighter. Uh, you can work all the way out here if you want. Uh, you can also work in the sky. Okay, I'm going to hold down the bottom button on my tablet or the space bar and it'll bring me up a hand for my cursor and I can just drag the image down. And what I want to do out here is I'm going to make a really big brush. Well, actually I need to switch over to that dodge tool again. And I'm going to make that brush very large. Okay. And I'm going to work out here in the sky some to brighten up my sky. Just to do some nice little, maybe a, like a little aurora going through here. Okay. And then I'm going to switch back to my sponge tool and I'm going to take away a lot of that color that's coming through there. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, too saturated. Okay. All right, and I'm going to zoom out some. So you can see how you can start to affect the luminance values by themselves. I'm going to do the um, dodge tool a little bit more, come back to the picture, and then I'm going to show you uh, some of the burning, which is to darken parts of the image. Jumping forward here, I have uh, worked a little bit more in the sky down here near the horizon and a little bit out in the um, external snow. So we've learned about the dodge and the burn tool. And I want you to understand that it does not paint over anything. It merely adjusts the pixels that are there. If you started off with a transparent canvas, well, you wouldn't be able to do anything with these two tools. Now, the burn tool works just like the dodge one does in that it uh, works in a particular range, has a brush, has exposure value, and you can change the mid-tones um, to a different thing just like in the dodge tool. So let's go to the shadows here. And what this is going to do is just darken all right, the luminance on the uh shadows in the image. So let's show you how that works. Okay, so I'm going to go through here and you see how it's just darkening up those little brown twigs and parts. Right, and I tried it out here, it's not going to do anything because there's nothing shadow out there. So kind of darken this up. Um, let's take a look, zoom in on some of these branches here. Like let's say some of these little branches are not showing up enough. I can use the burn tool to make them show up a little more. You see? So they'll come out a little darker. Now, at the same time, you will also get the color coming through. All right. So, one of the things you want to do, and I'm going to zoom out some here. 
I'm gonna hold down Alt on my uh, zoom tool, and you see it turns from a plus to a minus. So I hold down the Alt key or the little button that uh, is having the divot on your tablet, and you can zoom out by tapping. Okay. And what you can do there is the same thing. If you're burning and you start to get the colors coming through, you see it's starting to get a bluish tinge to everything. Go back with the sponge tool and see if you can take away that color to bring it back to how it was. So anyway, what I want you to do on this picture is every now and then, turn off the layer and show the original and show how you're adjusting it and you can really go overboard if you want I want you to have fun with it uh, but the main thing is is I want you to understand what these tools do that they lighten the luminance darken the luminance of a particular range and take away or add color okay and you gotta be using them uh, in conjunction make sure you're using the burn tool uh, you use it on shadows you need to go back and put it on highlights too to do things I don't know like if you wanted to kind of make a vignette like those dark corners for example I could turn on the percentage here really low and just kind of work out here you see how that's gonna darken up the edge there darken up out here you see how that works alright so anyway that's just some once again destructive method that affects the pixels on the page Make sure you save it as Dodge Burn Sponge in your chapter folder.